In this module, we will talk about the techniques of uh, interview. First of all, uh, it uh, there should be uh, on the part of uh, the caseworker an important consideration uh, which should be taken by the caseworker as a professional worker that a person who is uh, uh, coming to the client uh, to seek help is uh, emotionally disturbed and. Uh, so in uh, while using the technique of interview it is important uh, that uh, uh, the caseworker should use this technique as a prerequisite while interviewing uh, the client in the interview in, in the interview session that the person who is sitting in front of uh, the interviewer in front of the caseworker as interviewer is uh, uh, suffering from a painful uh, is suffering a painful situation and is facing a very disturbed uh, situation and uh, he uh, or she might be having emotional problems in conversation, in the performance uh, of uh, uh, the dialogue and in uh, maybe having the communication problem. So uh, uh, the caseworker should have this kind of consideration on on his or her part and uh, so it is uh, very important and uh, uh, it should be the basic attempt uh, by the caseworker to make the client at ease and uh, comfortable in the interview session and a comfortable environment to conduct the interview with the client so the client can feel free to express his or her feelings during uh, the session. And there should not be any disturbance which can uh, uh, disturb the client and which can uh, distract the concentration of the uh, client or which can offend the client as well. And uh, uh, simultaneously, the caseworker uh, should share the value of individuality, worth and dignity and respect of the client, which means that uh, every case in social case work process is a unique case and every individual is having uh, the unique characteristics and so the diversity of uh, the individual's personality traits must be reflect uh, must be respected and uh, the diversity of the nature of the problem uh, must also be uh, respected and must be considered by the casework. And uh, uh, similarly, the client's right of self determination uh, must be recognized in the whole process because uh, this is uh, the right of the client to choose the right course of action to resolve uh, their problem, to uh, the right course of action. Uh, to uh, decide the treatment of their problem. So uh, there should be the right of self-determination for the client and the client should be self-reliant and uh, uh, should be self-determined in this regard. Uh, and the caseworker should not uh, be over-possessing in this regard. And uh, another technique of interview is this, that uh, uh, the caseworker should have uh, uh, the knowledge about the human personality to recognize the role of emotional and unconscious processes uh, which are influencing the attitudes and behaviors of uh, uh, the client. Sometimes the client is not aware himself or herself about uh, those unconscious, unconscious uh, human attitudes and uh, those emotional, um, uh, emotional um, uh, uh, behaviors which are influencing the, uh, the behavior patterns of uh, the uh, client. So the worker should be well aware about uh, the interplay of psychological uh, forces, behavior patterns, uh, uh, on the part of the client. And uh, uh, the, the worker should also provide emotional support 
to relieve immediate anxiety of the client. Uh, uh, Sometimes the worker has to behave like a psychologist uh, and uh, uh, should provide a psychological support to the client so the client can relieve his or her anxiety and uh, should be comfortable and relax while expressing uh, his or her problem in front of the caseworker and uh, can show the true picture of uh, uh, the disturbed scene in which he is or she is living. And um, similarly, uh, the client uh, uh, should be provided with that kind of environment in which uh, they, uh, uh, he can feel, the client can feel, uh, uh, can, can feel a mutual respect and uh, a professional uh, relationship and uh, and uh, an environment of good communication should be provided to the client and so these are the techniques of uh, interview which can be used by the caseworker while uh, getting the information about the uh, problem of uh, regarding uh, uh, the uh, client uh, who is seeking help from the worker